Okay, so now we all know what happened with Hillary Clinton, in case you didn't. This is the way they were reporting people questioning her health. Now, her, she has to take at a press conference in over 200 and some days. Talking to your pool reporters on the back of your plane doesn't count, as far as I'm concerned. Have, having Alan Greenspan's wife ask you a question about how your weekend was. How was your weekend? Is not, is not a press conference. So this is how they were reporting it, right? So they were saying, oh, questions about Hillary Clinton's health are absurd. That's Chris Eliza. And then he goes through this thing about, oh, well, her doctor says she's okay and blah, blah, blah. And they're not absurd. The questions about a candidate's health, especially when she hasn't released all her, especially when she's admitted to having a concussion a few years ago. She's 68 years old. She had a blood clot in her brain that was super serious. Uh, she's, anyway, so now, so it, that's why, so. This was September 6th, Crystal did this. And then on September 11th, she did this. All right. So now she left. She said she got overheated, right? So she was at the 9 11 memorial and she said she got overheated. Now, if you, if first of all, it was in the, the high in New York on September 11th was in the low 80s, a high. So she's leaving before it got to the peak. And it was, I heard it was in the a high 70s when she left. And if you notice, well, if she's so hot, how come she's still wearing her coat, right? Wouldn't you take it off? She's got a shirt on underneath that. Why wouldn't you take that off? Okay, so there she is standing there. So let's watch. And so there she is. Now, this is the first view everyone got. And this woman's definitely, she's got her. She's holding her. She obviously, oop, there she goes. There she goes. This guy grabs her. And now her legs just lock. And she goes flying. And every nobody's like acting like it's a big deal. Like, yeah, we've been here, been, been here before, done this, seen this, done that. Here's from an other angle. So this actually, you could get better at look at it. Here's watch what she does here. So if you watch her left knee just buckles completely. She like, boom, like just, she's standing there. Watch her left, boom, she buckled, boom again. And then that guy comes and watch her shoe fly off. Her shoe flies off. So her legs... So a lot of people are saying this is more consistent with Parkinson's. A lot of the problems she's been having, people talk about when she does this a lot and when she went, she does the head bobs a lot. Did you know Bloomberg News counted how many head bobs she did during Bernie Sanders' speech at the convention? Did you know that? There was a couple hundred. They were like, like, why would they even do that? Why would they even count? And a lot of people say, the doctors say that that's one of the signs that you have this uncontrollable kind of head nodding, that that's common among Parkinson's. So the point is, if she has Parkinson's, so here's the problem, that they gave a bunch of different explanations. First of all, here's, here, I'm, I'm going to play this for you. Now watch, right here. You see that yes. thing? And you can hear it. And so there's lots of speculation. You, you see it, right? So yes. there's a thing literally comes out of her pant leg. And there's lots of speculation that she's wearing a catheter because one another symptom is that she has a, uh, a thing for her bladder, right? That it goes down her leg and that there, that's a metal thing and it's on her leg. And other people have shown other pictures of you can see through her leg. So the problem is that they lie about it, right? They go, first she goes, oh, she was overcome by heat, right? And then they say, and then they go, oh, no, 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 she has a pneumonia. She was diagnosed on Friday. She was diagnosed on Friday. She has pneumonia. So at, like, what, at, at, at 10.30, she was overheated. At noon, she was fine. And then later in the day, she was over, she had a pneumonia, but it's only walking pneumonia. It's not a big deal. Everybody. So she has pneumonia. And then later on that night, then she's fine. And then they cancel her California trip. So that's so here's what one of her aides said. Uh, she did not lose consciousness. She stumbled getting into the van, said Robbie Mook during an interview. And that's one of her spokespeople. Hey, we all saw that it wasn't a stumble. A stumble is if you trip. Your foot hit something you didn't see. You took a misstep. You didn't know there was a curb or something. Or there was a divot in the... No, she didn't. Her legs weren't working, and it was obvious. Her legs weren't working. So 
here's this guy. Mook repeatedly refused to answer whether he or other members of Clinton's staff knew that she had been diagnosed with pneumonia on Friday. He did say illness has been spreading in recent weeks in the campaign's Brooklyn headquarters. So he's saying, well, yeah, we've all been kind of getting this. Really? So then why, if she has pneumonia, are you letting her meet children and she should be not out spreading it around? Because they go, oh, no, it's not that kind that's infectious. It's called aspirational pneumonia, which is common in Parkinson's. It's caused by your lack of muscles. So things from your drip down into your uh, lungs and that you because your throat muscles aren't working properly and you get a certain kind of pneumonia. And in, in fact, I've read in, in today uh, that... That's the leading cause of death of Parkinson's is that type of pneumonia. So if she was diagnosed with, and everybody's, and people are saying now, wow, isn't that badass that she uh, was, had pneumonia and she continued campaigning anyway? Well, if it is, why wouldn't you tell everybody she has pneumonia when she, hey, she's got pneumonia and she's still going out there getting it done. Look at her. She's got pneumonia. She's still getting it done. So I think it is pneumonia that she has, but I think it's caused by by something. Who knows, right? Now we can speculate because they're lying. So, uh, in fact, my buddy Johnny Graz says, uh, once again, folks, if a pneumonia patient with a history of brain injury collapses and is 68 years old, you go to the hospital they didn't. They went to her daughter's apartment. Huh? She's literally collapsing. Her shoe got left. Huh? And and if you... Why wouldn't you go to the hospital? Why would you lie and say she got overheated? Uh... Fallon fielded questions. This is from the Washington Post. Uh, questions over Secret Service protocol, escorting Clinton away from the memorial, and said Clinton wanted to go to her daughter Chelsea's apartment when leaving the memorial instead of securing immediate medical attention. What? And there's no handler in the world what? that is going to direct her to a medical you facility? You wouldn't go to— Somebody what? who's running for the president of the United States? The— that's not right. And supposedly Secret Service is supposed to have protocol because Andrea Mitchell was was interviewing this guy. And she says, is it up to her? Like where, when she passes out, when she can't walk? Is it up to her where to go? She was telling everybody in earshot that she was perfectly fine, Fallon responded, noting that aides made attempts to contact her physician who visited her later. So they didn't even have a, they didn't even, there wasn't even a doctor weighing in on this decision. Without a doctor, they go, well, we're going to go to Chelsea's house. You wouldn't go to right to a, a hospital. She's the, supposed to be the next president of the United States. He said Clinton contacted aides by phone while in the car, but they didn't allow reporters to follow them. They didn't allow any reporters to come along, nothing. So nobody knows what happened. And then we now, and now we know they're making stuff up left and right. Why are you? And here's what David Axelrod, you know, David Axelrod, big advisor to Barack Obama. He says antibiotics can take care of pneumonia. What's the cure for an unhealthy penchant for privacy that repeatedly creates unnecessary problems? Wow. That's pretty strong. That's not me saying it. Wow, David. That's not That's that's not me. That's not Steve O. That's not crazy progressives. So there you go. We broke it down. If they weren't uh uh we all I mean, now we get to guess. Now people get to speculate because well, we because they've been lying. So so if Hillary Clinton is inclined to getting so such poor health care treatment, <laughs> evidently it's okay for America then to turn a blind eye when we're ill too. Is that it I'm telling you. So they're not telling us what's wrong with her. No. And also, uh, David Schuster tweeted out that the DNC was having an emergency meeting to consider a replacement, to consider, to consider a replacement. So people are speculating Joe Biden. Uh, if they try to pull something like that, I, I just think it's a sheer loser, sure loser. And if they do anything except pick Bernie, it's a sure loser in the general. 
even though people like Joe Biden and people are repulsed by Trump, if you screw over those people, you screwed them over once already in favor of a weaker candidate. So we'll see what happens. This uh, story's go for. I, I have some predictions. I'll, maybe I'll make them later this week. Okay. <laughs>